Hi, so if you already follow me on Instagram, if not, here it is. You know that already that I have tried something new and it was bike touring. So there is a difference between bike touring and bike packing and I did bike touring. I'll give you just a background before I show you what we did. I have started cycling like when I was very little, but I was not really cycling long distances or going on trips. And then I stopped cycling because I grew up and it was not really convenient to cycle in Algeria. Soon in university, I bought my own and I was cycling a bit, like just, I would say like maybe I was cycling five kilometers maximum and not in a daily basis. When I came to Poland, thanks to Adam, he's really cycling a lot. He went from Poland to Albania by cycling. I started cycling with him uh, and I am doing like in one hour I do 20 kilometers. So this is more or less my pace. I seen many many videos and many Instagram uh, posts when people they are bikepacking and even going on the world tour with the, um, with the, their bikes. It was like our dream me, me and Adam to go on a trip like that. So we went to Campinos from our hometown. We cycled there but we did not have time to prepare ourselves uh, especially me. We were wo working all the week and the weekend we were busy so uh, I was very, very stressed. Something that you did not see on the videos. Well, I don't film myself when I'm stressed. I'm like, it was stressful for me. When I don't know exactly how it's gonna be my day, I get very, very frustrated and stressed and my mind goes like, and on that day we woke up and we don't, we don't even know where are we going, what we will be taking with us, yes? Anyway, we just did it and we left at 12. Started cycling towards Campinas. As we were cycling, it was okay. I was fresh, I was not tired. I did not do any workouts before. Of course, I stretch every day. So we are in Campinas right now. We found this nice place, but we ate maybe three hours before and we don't need to stop to eat again. Just beautiful. The thing is that these pads, mm, oh my God, I don't know, I'm lost. These pads, uh, sometimes they are good, you can pass with them and sometimes it's hard, you can. You need to walk a bit with, the, with your bike. Um, here it's the great place for MTB, but uh, for me, I am having, well, this is Adam's bike and I'm ha uh, he's having 38, yeah, 38? Yeah. And mine is 32. With mine, it's a bit tricky to ride. Yeah, if you, you can see. And this is his, oh, leaf. So you can see this one and this one. So we will continue and we will see what we will park. We will park. <laughs> it's it's uh, 20 past five. And in one hour we will start looking where we can um, pitch our tent uh, because I want to have some daylight uh, when we are eating, just preparing the tent, preparing to sleep, writing maybe a bit and maybe filming a bit. Let's say goodbye. <laughs> Funny. Okay, see you. Maybe we can wear something. So we slept in Campinos. It was very, very beautiful in Campinos. I really loved it. But the minus was that I had thinner tires than Adams. We left Campinos and we were cycling along the Vistula River. Vistula is the biggest and the longest river in Poland. Second day. And I did not film at all when we were packing, we were having breakfast, but we, I take some pictures. Uh, I took some pictures and if you don't follow me yet on Adam and Amina on our Instagram, so you need to check there because I am posting more pictures there than filming. We are having only phones, we don't have a camera. Yeah, we just have one. Oh, can you see it? Power bank, this one. 
We are trying to charge it with the sun, but it's not really effective. <sighs> so yeah, we charged a bit and now I am filming just to update you. Here we are just across the um, Istula River. It was very steep. We rode there up and yeah, it was very steep and for me with this with these tires it was uh, really tricky with Adams it was all right do you have anything to say about our trip that we are hoping that it won't rain so see you so we are cycling to the west and the wind was so hard and it was against us it was really hard we were cycling and i was getting some breaks because my shoulders it was horrible. The pain hurt. It, it hurt. And even your butt would hurt you like so much. Ah! 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 Our plan was to go to points, we go up to the north, but as we were going up and crossing the, the river, we saw that even that on that side, the wind was against us. So we directly changed the plans, we were flexible on that, and we went east. In case it was unclear, so here is where we were, Narshez, and so we were going south, so we went, we crossed Vistula. Here is Vistula. The uh, Campinos. Campinos. Okay, so we were cycling inside and then we went out. And as we were cycling like this to the west, it was, the wind was against us. So we were like this. And then we crossed the river again. We were going north. And we wanted to go to Poinsk. So we saw that the wind was still against us from the west and from the north. So we decided to go east. <laughs> and here the wind was behind us. Is it clearer now? So as we went east, the wind was hitting on our back and we were so, so fast. It was great. It helped me to reach my, <laughs> let's say my personal record for 10 seconds. It was 47 kilometers per hour. And I was so scared. Like I ne I've never been that fast. And we slept in Pomihuvek. Pomihuvek is a small town and very beautiful. I like their park. I think it's one of the best. If you have children, you must take them there. And we did a campfire. It was called had couscous with pesto and beans. It is the quickest recipe ever. On the third day, we saw the forecast and it was going to be raining and the weather was not good. And I needed the rest. So as we were cycling home, it was raining and my shoulders were hurting me. We arrived home, we, take, we took a shower and we just relaxed. We went to family, we visited them, we had a campfire and we just relaxed in our holidays. Okay, now the light is a bit weird. What I have uh, learned from this trip, uh, for every experience you do, you learn something. And there are things that I've learned. For example, as guarding me and Adam, my husband, I discovered that we have different kinds of travel somehow. For him, for example, he likes the journey. He likes starting from home and getting to the point, let's say B. But for me, I like to speed up some stuff and I like to take a train and reach that destination and then there I can cycle. Uh, I see it more efficient, I see it uh, as, a, as a way to not waste time while getting from home because I already know the track from home to uh, some places. I find it a bit boring like to cycle, to get out of my town. I don't say anything that my way is better or his way is better. This is just something that I have learned. Uh, the second thing that I have learned is that you would never know if you like something if you don't try it. Saying that, no, let's not go today, we are not prepared, let's go tomorrow. 
and the best way is just to get out just cycle five kilometers and get away from home and then maybe like he would say okay it's better now it's not that bad it's okay it's a new adventure and life goes on some advices that i would give for people who are trying for the first time like me uh, bike packing or bike touring um, the first one is to be ready beforehand i would advise to watch some videos on youtube like how they are packing their stuff and do it the day or the weekend before second one it depends on where you are going if you are planning to get inside the forest i would advise you to really check the tires of your bike to have them wider and if you get inside the forest i would advise you to cover all your body well not to the extreme but just to cover the ankles and to have your clothes a bit with a light color not black uh, not dark why because there are many ticks with the light colors you can see them easily and you can remove them and when you are covering your body like it is harder for the tick to in get inside i think the last advice that i would give would be to have the track to plan your uh, your route beforehand a bit not to be very specific like here is how it goes I don't want to get out of this track no because it's really good to be spontaneous and for example for us if we were not like flexible we would not go to the east where we had the best journey i guess in other hand it's also good to a little bit plan the track because it would be more interesting what you will see what you will maybe experience maybe what you will do and maybe also you can plan where you're gonna sleep under some shelters, if it's gonna rain, and um, yeah, that's all. This is the first time I'm talking about bikes in my channel, so it's a bit out of my niche, let's say, like foreign years in Poland. Uh, I don't know if I am into bike touring. I did not try bike packing. I will try to do it and to compare. I know that I am into hitchhiking, really. I'm not into road trips. I tried it on our honeymoon and I felt that we did not have a lot of interaction with the people. We were seeing a lot, that's true. We were crossing many kilometers faster. So yeah, hitchhiking and for the bike touring, I'm not sure yet uh, because the pain was more predominant. I don't know if you can say this, like it was higher. I'm sure that I need uh, to practice more, I need to cycle more and to get used to the position where I need to lean. Um, yeah, that's for sure. So I will see, I cannot judge by now. As I say, uh, I remind myself when I am cycling, this helps me a bit. Me and my friend from Algeria, we were uh, Nadir, we were talking about it and we were saying that never call a day a bad day until midnight. So if, if it is 12, you can never say this is the, a bad day or this is the worst day because you don't know what's going to be or what's going to happen before midnight. This helps when I am cycling. So thank you for watching. Please, before you go, please subscribe if you're not subscribing. And if you are already subscribed, please give me a like and comment, even if you don't know what to say. Me too. I don't know what to say in some comments. Just give me a heart or say, Okay. Um. Cornichon. <laughs> See you.